Um, next story. Um, Headmaster John Holian of a Catholic school in Long Island makes a kid, um, kid's name is Tristan Paul, made him kneel and apologize. And the reason why he made him apologize because the kid was in class. He didn't finish his work. He just went on to the next lesson. I guess the teacher didn't like that. And for whatever reason, he got sent to the principal's office or the headmaster's office. And the headmaster going to make him kneel in order to apologize, saying that it was he learned it from a Nigerian father in the past. And he, he, real quick, before I pass the, the, the mic on this one, two things about the story that, I don't, that, that bothers me. Number one, why you get sent to the principal's office, headmaster's office, because you're going ahead in your work. Right. And number two, if some, some parent made, showed you that in the past, a former student, not a current student, not a student from yesterday or last week, a former student, which means that student no longer goes to that school, what the fuck that got to do with what you're doing today? If you ain't did that with every other student, what the fuck you doing it now? So those two things that bother me about that shit, man. Um, uh, I don't hear what you got to say on this one, man. You ain't paying attention, is you? I'm gonna no, move on. To, um, I'm gonna hey. move on. I'm move on to Hannibal. Hey, this one. hey brother, you sound monk. <laughs> Dalvin. Attention, but nobody can make out what you're saying, brother. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta open your mouth and you use the word. All right. Listening at all, Dalvin. Thanks. You, you wouldn't listen. I'm sorry. I'm listening, man. I'm laughing because <laughs> you went to your boy. My 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 opinion is that it's it's a it's a behavior thing. And and I always look for the underlining issue. First thing, they had a Catholic school, right? And my problem is the family that this happened to, they're Haitian. I don't yeah. know if you said that. Yeah, you know, Brian, I did. But so they're a Haitian family that decided to spend their hard-earned money to send their kids to a, a private Catholic school. Mm -hmm. And this... And this, this for me, this is how I think. I go back to the royal family and how they, this whole Catholicism and everything else and how they make it seem as if, oh, you know, they got all their money, their wealth, but they, even though we go and get their education and say it's supposed to be the best by going to a Catholic school, they still... Oh, man, you cut out on us. No matter... Yeah. Oh, they treat you like shit. You know, even though you you go into this private school, they're doing this, they don't truly understand our culture. They truly don't understand what it is. But you punish a young black male for excelling in education and you make them bow down to you asking for forgiveness because someone else said that that's the way they do it in their family. It's bullshit to me. And, and that guy should be fired and he should not be able to be a headmaster again. You yeah. deal with kids as individuals. He resigned. He resigned. I saw that. Um, read that so, this morning. He that, resigned. Um, but I wanted to be the type of dude that'll get another job, though. You know, like much. like Dallas yep. said. I mean, like D said, he shouldn't get. A, he shouldn't ever be able to have that position ever again. Never. And I, I read Fine line. Lady say that uh, he he's not a racist. He's like he's like a father figure to my son. Like that's your son. Your son probably ain't black. <laughs> that shit. Right. Anyway, um, Hannibal. Hannibal. Yo, what's, what's up? Say, sir? What you got to say on this topic, sir? Man, uh, to be honest, I first saw it. I was shocked, bro. I was like, I can't believe this is going on. Not again. Not for my people. Well, you would have did that with your kid. What do you mean what I would have did? You already know what I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> man, hit the button. That's Captain Keith, man. <laughs> but they made him buy his ass down. Buy that, motherfucker. Apologize to yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, man. Uh, Brown, chiming in. Um, I think it's a load of crap, I think. Especially how, you, how, you, how, how um, Brother um, Dirty D explained it, man. Let's break it down. <laughs> Um, I'm paying my good, my hard earned money to send my kid to school, and you want to send my kid to bow down to you? I'm about to come here and break all your fucking your back, your neck, everything. Yep. <laughs> my neck, my, my <laughs> neck, <laughs> my <laughs> no way in the head. I better own this school by the time this shit all this, when it's all said and done. 
Ooh, man. Got another fucking dime by me. We're going to own the school. We're going to run this bitch in the ground. Fuck your school. Fuck it. Fuck your system. Fuck all of you. Uh, uh, fuck them. I'm gonna stop right now. I'm, I'm getting too get pissed off. <laughs> Rex, Rex, man. Let me, yeah. Oh. Gotta chime on this one. <laughs> Boiling over. You had anything to add, Rex, to that that topic, or are we gonna move on? Oh, I mean, I, um, it's just bleeding racism. You know, I mean, you can't sugarcoat that shit. You can see it for what it is. I I guarantee you, he never did that to any other child that passed through them halls. So. Like Dirty D said, man, he should be, well, he already resigned. He should never, ever be able to have them type of positions ever again. Okay. And, you know, it just kind of pull a low curtain back on the type of people that's teaching some of our kids, you know, depending on where you send them to school. You know, and I think you just got to be careful of that, especially nowadays, man, because they just, they just fucking brazen with they <laughs> racism nowadays, man, you know, and. They're trying to start some stuff, but it is what it is. But he's a flake, and I'm glad he's the fuck out of there. All right. Um, now, speaking of... Uh, Prime, I got a question. Whatever right. happened to the teacher? You know what? They didn't, Prime, I, I got to ask a question. About, yeah. What happened to the teacher that took him to the office? That's I my issue. I didn't even hear nothing about the teacher name because the mother did say that the teacher need to be held accountable. She like she happy that the the headmaster was fired or was he resigned or whatever, but she still feel like the teacher needs to get something as well. But they didn't even give the teacher name. I didn't see it in the article I read. But I I, I agree. Right. The teacher should have never seen the child to the to the headmaster. I don't even understand why what caused her to feel like he needed to even go there. He wasn't acting up in class or being disrespectful. He was just doing work. But, but again, that's that's why I said it earlier. It's this the behavior and how they look at our kids. This guy is he was he was excelling. He he was going ahead to do work, and you've had the galls to take him to the office because he's going ahead. They need to they need to they need to they need to whip her ass too. I'm just being honest because. <laughs> Basically, they don't want niggas to get ahead. That's what that sounds like. Is, yeah, Pretty I'm much. trying to be politically correct. So, yeah. <laughs> they don't want niggas to get ahead. Much. Man. Um, talking about brazen racism. Now, tell me 